Welcome, everyone, to a Missouri Valley Conference chat. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Matt Loach from Valparaiso and the Crusaders. Even Steven, 500 in the league. And boy, do they have a week ahead. You got the top teams coming at you with Northern Iowa and Loyola Chicago. Matt, where is this team right now for what you have ahead of you? You know, that's a great question. Um, you know, the first part is it's, it's I love this league. I mean, it has been so fun. And, um, you know, obviously, I think Northern Iowa and Loyola played the best. But, you know, you look top to bottom, it's just not an easy game in the league. And I think they would even tell you that, right? Um, and so, you know, we're, we're young. Um, I think, you know, I looked on Ken Palm. I want to say we're about the 290th ranked um, team from an experience component. And so, you know, a lot of times I think experience um, as the year goes on or, or young teams as the year goes on, you know, you gain experience and you start playing better. And so we've played a lot better at home than we have on the road, um, which is, is typical for everyone, but, but especially for younger teams. Um, you know, and I just think we're getting better every single day. I actually look a lot at our team and, and think of, you know, Northern Iowa's, you know, run last year, you know, they were, you know, pretty young, um, they got better and they were, you know, possession away from playing in the NCAA tournament. And so, you know, our mindset is just get better every single day, um, you know, try to take small steps forward and, uh, and let's just see where we're at by the end of the year. So to that point, what's the sense with your group, with your staff about, even though those teams have, you know, played the best to this point, that it can be somewhat wide open and uh, really, you could go down a list, maybe one through eight, you know, have a legitimate shot of yep. getting the AQ out of St. Louis. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, you know, we've already played both these teams. You know, we played Northern Iowa uh, down there. We're up at half um, and, you know, really had a, an opportunity to win the game. And, you know, A.J. Green went nuts. I mean, he had some difficult shots. And then, then we played Loyola at home. It was our only conference. Actually, it's only a home loss of the year so far. And, um, you know, one possession game late. And, and so we know we're right there. Um, but we also know that, you know, we've got to figure out a way to win those games. And, um, you know, our guys believe um, they like each other. Um, they play really, really hard. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to, you know, eliminate mistakes and, or minimize mistakes and, and uh, you know, pull out some games that, that uh, I guess, are really good teams. And we have opportunities in this league, that's for sure. So, Matt, I want to just go a little big picture here. Uh, yeah. You've, you know, coached and played higher level. Um, and the landscape's changing a little bit. You know, we're mm -hmm. going to see what happens with the transfer portal and the waivers and yeah. one-time transfer. There's proposals out there. You've been bitten by it as well because you've had yeah. guys leave. Uh, but, but Valley teams have also taken players in. Where do you stand on the current landscape and what you would like to see? You know, I think right now may be different than when I played, right? Andy, I went and... and you know, I was a top 50 player in high school, and I went and I sat on the bench for two years in college. And, you know, was it hard? Yeah, it was hard, but, you know, I got better every single day. And, and when it was my turn to actually start playing, you know, I was able to perform, you know, pretty much from the get-go. And I think now sometimes there's just this mentality of, well, it's not working out for me year one, um, I'm out. Or maybe not working out for me even in the first two years, I'm out. And, you know, it makes it a little more difficult to, to build programs. It, it's just the way college basketball is right now. Um, and, and, and for us, you know, we're trying to identify young men that, that really are proud and appreciative to be at Valpo. And I think if we do that, um, you know, we're going to be able to, to have, you know, a sustained long, longevity of players in our program and, and get old, stay old and, 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 you know, be a Valpo team that, that can, you know, win the Missouri Valley. How much gratification is there when you find that player or recruit that player, yeah. uh, who by junior, senior year, like yourself, uh, ends yeah. up being a potential all league player that can help you, you know, compete near the top of the Valley. Oh, uh, it's awesome. You know, I love when we when we get this freshman too, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, look, it, it, it's a process in, in, in anything in life, right? The the obstacles that we face, and um, you know, they can be challenging at times, but when you can overcome them, um, you know, and for me, I get it's just just as much joy, um, you know, watching the young man do it as, as I had, you know, when I played. So um, it's it's awesome, you know, even the growth. Like you know, we got Javon Freeman came as a freshman, was all freshman, and now he's one of the better players in our league. And to see the growth from year one to year two has been it's been awesome. And um, you know, I really enjoy coaching uh, players that want to get better and, and players that are proud to be in our program. All right, Matt. Before I let you go, uh, how's the Hall of Famer doing, Homer Drew? Oh, he's the best. I mean, he is absolutely the best. Um, 
you know, Homer left his imprint in this program, and then, you know, Bryce did the same, Scott did the same, um, but Homer's great, and, you know, we got him back here for, for our game before our Central Michigan game. You want to talk about a little pressure, Andy, have your Hall of Fame coach come back and, and then watch a game that you get to coach, but uh, but he's got nothing but support for me and support for the program, and just uh, just proud uh, to, to have him as a mentor of mine. Appreciate it, Matt. Thank you.